I was very fortunate to work in Guatemala as a young girl. I was probably 14, and again, all these things are coming to me as I was getting prepared for today. I was probably 14 when I started working, 14, maybe even younger. And uh, I, ha I was fortunate enough to work for people who are Americans. And so with my little English I learned at school, like you learn over here, I was the only person that was able to communicate with them. And uh, it was amazing when I think about that because I, it, I wasn't really bilingual, but I didn't know. And I was the, the easiest person to communicate with them. And little did I know, um, this uh, company that I used to work, we, they produce seeds for flowers, like um, the flowers that we buy at the, gross, at the store, uh, petunias, uh, chrysanthemums, all those plants is from seeds that were imported from Guatemala, where I work at as a young girl. And the main company is in Gilroy. And I came here without knowing that, oh my goodness, how small is the world that when I was in Guatemala, I had no idea where San Francisco was. I had no idea where Gilroy was, where we were sending all these big uh, packets of seed. And uh, I just went to visit a few, uh, I think a year or two ago, and it's like, it's so beautiful to think that everything in life comes around, you know? And, and that's, that's how I started learning English, because I was with uh, working for people that are Americans. It was scary. It was scary and it was um, challenging because uh, when I left Guatemala, and this was again, thanks to these people that I used to work, they were the ones who gave me the money to come here to the United States. Um, I, ha I was a single mother, so I came here with a four-year-old child. And being a single parent in the United States is one of the most difficult things. And because you rely in fami on family when you are in your country, with your culture, with your, when you are in your hometown, and I came here and I had no family, I had nobody, I had no idea how difficult it was to be a single mother. So it was, uh, it was very, very challenging, very difficult. Continue on your studies and continue to improve uh, whatever you are good at it. You know, find out if you are good at um, at working in the land, I, whatever you are good at, and improve yourselves, because even if you are a Native American, uh, you have a responsibility to the next generation. And um, the only way to succeed, uh, or one way to succeed, is to educate yourselves. And um, I think, uh, for me, I am an example that uh, because I, I try my best and I did my best, I abide by the laws of the country who, that took me into. And uh, I didn't come here, basically I didn't come here to be in Guatemala. And I don't know if that is uh, understandable. I came here to be as American citizen. And so once you embrace that, that now I'm here, I have to make the best of what I have right now. And I have to, to give, uh, create some legacy for not only my culture, but my family and myself. And education is very important. Whatever you are good at, it doesn't matter what you are good at. Take pride on who you are and educate yourself as much as you can. And take advantage of all the opportunities that we have here. Because there are a lot of opportunities going to school. Uh, 
working, learning, there are trades. You don't have to be one thing, but there are many, many opportunities for everybody to succeed. And we don't find that everywhere. Hi, I'm Zachary March. Um, I'm Layla Hall. I'm Samantha Boyer. I'm Kai Fan. 